Hey guys, Average Joe here, back with a quick video about what to do when your handle gets stuck in your base. Usually it's something relatively simple. For example, it might be that your dials aren't perfectly on a weight setting. And when they aren't on a weight setting and they're in between, I've explained in other videos, that locks your handle into your base. So the first thing I would check is to make sure that it is uh, on the correct uh, you know, on a weight setting somewhere on this dial, preferably on um, five, because then you can lift just the handle out by itself. But um, uh, that's the first thing. If it is not that, then there is something going on with the plates and or the discs that are causing this handle to get completely locked either on one side or both sides into the base. And there's only one way that I know around it. You're going to disassemble your uh, dumbbell right on the base. And the way you do that is uh, get your ratchets, 19, typically 19 millimeter, and take your bolts right off, or it, one end usually comes off. So... You're going to see here, I'm now taking this off. This shaft, so I've got the other dial, okay, that one came off. This shaft comes out. Once the shaft is out, everything is loose now on this handle. So you can start trying to disassemble. If your handle comes out, great. Be careful. You, you should try to do this around something like a towel, something that can catch the parts, because as you pull this handle up, ball bearings are going to go flying. Actually, you can see one right there. One just came out. So they're going to, ball bearings, springs, they're going to want to jump around, bounce around, uh, roll off the table. So it's best to do it on top of some sort of uh, towel or something like that, or just be super careful as you're pulling up. Remember, this is all going to want to come apart. So there's my other ball bearing. There are the springs. Fortunately, they didn't go bouncing around. This side, I'm going to try to salvage. There are my other two ball bearings. You have to be extremely careful that you don't lose these. Otherwise, you're going to be buying a pack of 100 of them just to replace two of them. Okay. And now, basically, what remains in here is a bunch of uh, discs and your weight. So, you can pull them out however you want. In this case, mine came out... Uh, you know, we're together as a pack. But, um, so, if that ever happens, loosen a bolt, pull out the shaft, and take apart your dumbbell. Now, at this point, you should be taking a look at all your components and seeing where there might be a problem. Uh, you know, it could be something was missing. It could be just that it was uh, not quite assembled correctly. Maybe it got a little weird, a little um, loose or funky in some way. And you'll do a complete reassembly of your dumbbell to then test it in your, your base again. But uh, that's pretty much the only way to get your handle out safely if it is uh, jammed in your, your base and you can't pull it out. You should not be, have to force. If you're pulling with a, a lot of force to try to get your handle out, just stop and take that center shaft out and take all the parts. And uh, that's it. Um, uh, hopefully, this will be helpful to folks <laughs> who, whose handle got stuck in their shaft, which, by the way, is um, uh, not uncommon on uh, uh, this 552 Series 1. I've heard fewer stories in with uh, 1090 and 552 series 2. Anyway, uh, good luck. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another video.